Tonight we're making stuffed peppers or tomatoes or zucchini or really you can stuff whatever you want. But this is something that my Yaya used to always make and I miss this so much, but I'm gonna try to do it as good as she did. So she would always use beef, but I'm gonna use ground turkey. Um, it's rice and it's parsley and whatever vegetables you wanna stuff. So I already carved out some of my veggies, but I'm gonna just show you really quickly, I hope you can see this, how you do the tomatoes. You just kind of slide your knife around the top like so, because you're gonna wanna hold onto this and stick it back on. And then I usually cut in on the inside just to loosen up the inside and use a spoon to carve it out. And you wanna keep this bowl of tomato juices because you throw this in with your meat and rice. It'll look something like that. And then just wanna chop up an onion. I'm gonna just only do half, half of the onion for flavor. Feel free to use more if you like a lot of onion. Okay, so you wanna get a pan nice and hot. A little bit of olive oil, like a tablespoon or so. And throw your onion in. So once this starts to sizzle, just go ahead and put in your meat. This is about a pound. And I'm also going to preheat my oven to 350. like using wood when it comes to meat. Well, that's cooking. I'm just going to chop up some parsley. I like a lot of parsley. Nobody else in my family does. So, I'm not going to go crazy with it. Just measuring out a half a cup of rice to get ready to throw in. You can use whatever rice you want. This is just uh, jasmine rice by the Carolina brand. So my grandmother always used. And once your meat is cooked, you shut the gas. You're gonna throw in your rice and your parsley. The tomatoes. And salt and pepper. I would think to add garlic, but it's something my grandmother never did, so I just never got into the habit of cooking garlic in here. I'm just cutting up some of these tomato pieces that were big. This looks so good. I literally could just eat this for dinner. It's good, you got your rice. I mean, obviously the rice needs to cook, but you got your meat, your veggies, on your rice, it's like perfect little meal. Okay, so from here, so I have a little Pyrex and I'm going to just spray it with olive oil so nothing sticks. And you just stuff away. I don't always fill them because I just wanna make sure I have enough for each one, so I usually just go like that. Grandmother used to always include eggplant. She would always stuff eggplant too. I like eggplant, but I'm just not crazy about it. Once you have your thing stuffed, you just kind of put the little cap on and you want to put these upside down 
in your tray. Suppose you could stuff potatoes. Uh, but I'm not a big like rice and potato fan like mixing the two. I just feel like it's too heavy And my other grandmother my Italian grandmother She does this in the crock pot Like she doesn't even cook her meat She lets everything cook in the crock pot and I've tried that before it does it doesn't come out as flavorful in my opinion I like getting the meat a little bit more cooked on top of the pan, but that's just me. But you then could transfer these into the crock pot if you still wanted to make your stuffing ahead of time. It's a good make ahead meal. And you also can make these like the morning of or the night before and then just bake these, you know, at dinner time. I love zucchini. It's like, I like it better and the peppers actually. This smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. Where's my zucchini topper? There he is. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay that down. I'm gonna put a little bit more in these peppers. And then if you have leftover, this can sit in your fridge for a couple days. You can eat this on its own. I'd maybe leave it in here to cook a little longer for the rice or you could just stuff some more veggies when you go to the store. You also want to make sure you clean all the seeds off. I don't think I mentioned that. And just push down. How did this fit? It's like a puzzle. Upside down again. It's weird, but I even like kind of the, the rice to be al dente. And the more you stuff these, like the tighter together, the better. And this zucchini was actually one. I just cut it in half. These are pretty long. And depending on your oven, you're gonna wanna let these cook for almost an hour and you just want to keep checking on them. The last step before I like to cook them, I just like to give a little drizzle of olive oil over the top so they get nice and tender. And then I salt and pepper the actual veggies for added flavor. I'm gonna put them in my oven and show you what they look like when they come out. Okay, just pulled them out and they're bubbling. They're a little welty. They're bubbling, perfect. Bubble. And I'm so excited to eat them. Good. It's like crunchy. I didn't even cook it. That's the whole point. Oh, it's cooked inside it cooked this. inside, yeah. I love it. I love it. Oh, are you supposed to eat this? What? Cut it open. Just like you. Oh my God, I'm so excited. You took a bite already? Mm-hmm. It's good? I salted it enough for you? For oh, once? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. They Again, taste like my amp. I mean my <laughs> Yaya. Really cute stuff at the dollar spot. I found this rose gold pillow that I'm gonna put on Addie's bed. I was thinking for Valentine's Day. I love to decorate for Valentine's Day.